Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> so it's day two. We are finally uh, about to take over our adventure in Vietnam. Vietnam, which by the way is a country about the size of Italy and called the uh, Paris of the Orient. So we're going to hit the markets first because they're just across the street, might as well. And uh, we're going to continue afterwards. A lot of people in this city. The country has, I think it's like 89 million or something. And uh, this city alone is extremely populated, so uh, it'll be interesting. A lot of little horns and beep beeps. Looking forward to it. This is how you do it in Ho Chi Minh. We're off to the Kuchi Tunnels about an hour and a half away. On the back of our motorcycle. How awesome is this? <laughs> so uh, we'll see you at the tunnels, I guess. Hopefully this is safe. These are two Quebecers that we met on the way. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> we're going to the same destination, so we're going to hook up and go to Mekong Delta together and then Tianjin. So who knows what's going to happen. See, these are the fun adventures that you do when you're on a motorcycle. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We didn't lose that. So after an hour and a half on a motorcycle, our bum are kind of numb. But uh, we're finally at the Kuchi Tunnels and uh, we're going to get to see something really historic. So this is going to be really awesome. Only one level, like this, only one level, like this. But you see in American Wartime, they view tunnel, three different levels. Three levels, like this. But you see in American Wartime, they view tunnel, three different levels. First level is around three or four meters deep. Three or four meters deep, you know. On the first level, like this, they view a lot of bunkers, a lot of rooms, like this one, underground. You know, like a meeting room. And then they cover the entrance around here, you see the wood around here, right? They cover it. And then they make the, they make the lid like this one, right? And later on, yeah, they cover the entrance like this one. So you see they build a lid like this, and then they, they have the wood, they cover around. So they, they, they could stop the water, go inside the tunnel. Like that right? way. Hold it up. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, don't push. Okay. Oh, I'm slipping. And when the man the man falls oh, in the house, oh. now he, he hit the bottom, you see, in the bottom of the house over there. A lot of lights. And you see the spine, like this one, huh? They make it from We're off in the tunnels. <laughs> Oh my 
God, it goes even deeper. Oh my God, that was so intense. These tunnels were tiny. They, uh, so claustrophobic. I think I was only in there for maximum a minute and a half to two minutes. And I was kind of freaking. So living there is crazy. You had to be in a squatting position to be able to walk through it. I even went down on four legs at some point because I was like, can't do this. So, uh, Hats off to people who actually lived in those tunnels. That was spooky. Back to Ho Chi Minh we go!